Let's say that y is equal to sine of x squared to the third power, which of course we could also write as sine of x squared to the third power. And what we're curious about is what is the derivative of this with respect to x? What is dy dx, which we could also write as y prime? Well, there's a couple of ways to think about it. This isn't a straightforward expression here, but you might notice that I have something being raised to the third power. In fact, if we look at the outside of this expression, we have some business in here, and it's being raised to the third power. And so one way to tackle this is to apply the chain rule. So if we apply the chain rule, it's going to be the derivative of the outside with respect to the inside, or the something to the third power, the derivative of the something to the third power with respect to that something. So it's going to be three times that something squared times the derivative with respect to x of that something. In this case, the something is sine, let me write that in the blue color, it is sine of x squared. It is sine of x squared. If I, no matter what was inside of these orange parentheses, I would put it inside of the orange parentheses and these orange brackets right over here. We learned that in the chain rule. So let's see, we know this is just a matter, the first part of the expression is just a matter of algebraic simplification. But the second part, we need to now take the derivative of sine of x squared. Well now, we would want to use the chain rule again. So I'm going to take the derivative, it's sine of something. So this is going to be, the derivative of this is going to be the sine of something with respect to something. So that is cosine of that something times the derivative with respect to x of the something. And in this case, the something is our x squared. And of course, we have all of this out front, which is the three times sine of x squared, and I could write it like this, squared. All right, so we're getting close. Now we just have to figure out the derivative with respect to x of x squared, and we've seen that many times before. That, we just use the power rule, that's going to be 2x. 2x, and so if we wanted to write the, in, the dy dx, we get a little bit of a mini drum roll here, this shouldn't take us too long. dy dx, I'll multiply the three times the 2x, which is going to be 6x, so I covered those so far, times sine squared of x squared, times sine squared of x squared, times cosine of x squared. And we are done, Mul applying the chain rule multiple times.